Hey guys, welcome back to Tabletop Robotics. I'm Justin. Today I'm going to show you how to code the Arduino so you can control my mechanical counter with two buttons or using the serial monitor. You can get the files for my mechanical counter, links are in the description, as well as example code they can just copy paste into your own code. So we're going to be using the Arduino Uno to control my mechanical counter, as well we're going to be using a 28BYJ-48 5V stepper motor. Now after that, we can just get started. So here we have the Arduino IDE open. The first thing we're going to do is import the stepper library. And then we're going to set up the stepper motor. So you're going to call the library and then identify the motor. So we're just going to call it my stepper. Now in the brackets, you're going to need five numbers. The first number is going to be how many steps for one full rotation. For my stepper motor, is going to be 2048 then the next four values is going to be the pins the stepper motor is connected to so for mine is going to be five six seven and eight then you're going to need to set up two variables you're going to need one for the current number and this is going to be the number that is currently being shown by the mechanical counter you're going to be need another variable new number and this is the number the mechanical counter should be for void setup, we don't need anything since we set up the stepper motor up here. Now in void loop, we're going to set up the main program. So we're going to set the stepper motor to 15 RPM. Now we're going to set up code so that wherever the new number is, the current number is going to go up to it. So if the new number is greater than the current number, the current number is going to move up by one. But if the new number is less than the current number, it's going to move down by one. So we're going to do an if current number is less than new number. We're going to turn the stepper motor one tenth of full rotation. And then we're going to add one to the current number variable. Now, since the stepper motor can only move integer values, we're going to need around 4048 to 4040. And since we rounded it down to 4040, we're going to need to add the 8 steps every one full rotation. So we're going to make a for loop. Before that, you're going to put a delay, then a for loop. Now how this for loop is going to work is that every time the current number is equal to a multiple of 10, is going to add eight steps so every one full rotation is going to add eight steps and then after that you want to copy this piece of code and paste it right underneath and change it so that if the current number is greater than the new number is going to move backwards it's not 4000 so it's 2000 so you're just going to make 2040 to negative 2040 and make 8 to negative 8 and that's all you need to do to change it so it moves backwards and that's the main part of the code so how this code is going to work is that you're going to put your main code in this section right here and all the main code needs to do is change the new number and that can and that will change the current number and rotate the number wheels just a reminder this code is in the description below so you can just copy and paste it into your own code now if you want to control the mechanical counter with two buttons, it's very simple. Now how this is going to work is that if button 1 is pressed, it's going to count up by 1. If button 2 is pressed, it's going to count down by 1. And if both buttons are pressed, it's going to return to 0. Now to start off with, you're going to put, you're going to make two pin modes and make pin 1 and pin 2 inputs. And then in the void loop, we're going to check whether if button 1 is pressed or if button 2 is pressed so we're going to put if statement so if digital read 1 is low meaning it's being pressed and digital read 2 is high we're going to add 1 to new number then we can just copy and paste this code and change it so that if button 1 is not pressed and button 2 is pressed you're going to count down by 1 and one more that if both buttons are pressed it's going to return new number back to zero. And there you have it. And that's the code to make your mechanical counter so it's controlled by two buttons. And now I'll show you it in action. 
So here I have the Arduino all set up with the two buttons. As you can see, if I press button one, it counts up by one. And if I press button two, it counts down by one. And if I just hold button one, it, count, it continuously counts up. And if I hold both buttons, it goes back to zero. Now we have the mechanical counter working with two buttons. We want to make it so we can control it with the serial monitor. And how we want to do that is, first of all, we want to set up the serial monitor. So in void setup, we're going to do serial begin. So next in void loop, we want to make it so that the new number variable is equal to the number we enter in the serial monitor. So how we want to do that is if serial available is greater than one, new number is equal to the number that we enter. And then we're just going to print everything. So we're just going to print the current number and then print the new number. And then we're just going to set serial timeout in the beginning to zero. So there you have it. So now if you set a number in the serial monitor, the mechanical counter will also go to that number. So here I have it set up for the serial monitor. I can type in a number into the serial monitor and it should go to it. So if I press a 9, it will go up to 9 and stop. If I press in, let's say, if I press in 3, it should go to 3. Press in something high like 50, it will go up to 50. And just go up to 999. And if I interrupt 999, let's say I put it to 150, it will stop at 150 instead. Okay guys, that's the end of this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you next time. Bye.